worse than a garbage can full of possums and raccoons on a hot summer afternoon in Splatoon 3? Well, today, I'm gonna tell you all about the top five noob weapons in Splatoon 3. These weapons were picked because of how skilled you need to effectively get a splat and how easy the kit is to use. Some specials and subs might be better, but these kits are picked specifically for these kits that will provide value with the lowest skill floor. Starting out at number five, we've got the Blob Lobber. The Blob Lobber is the easiest bucket to use effectively. Anybody can find a nice place on the map and lob some delicious looking blobs all over the map. It comes with a sprinkler and ink storm. This sub is special, you literally just chuck it in the enemy's general direction and it's gonna disrupt them. The reason the Blob Lobber is at number five is because I believe the Blob Lobber has a high skill ceiling. This weapon can be absolutely deadly in the hands of a skilled player. It reminds me a lot of Junkrat from Overwatch and Demo Man from Team Fortress 2. But for the average player, this thing will have your enemies disconnected early in no time. And number four, we got the Flingza Roller. The Flingza Roller is really similar to the Blob Lobber in the sense that it has that low floor, high ceiling stat. For the average player, if you just roll around and just frantically fling ink at your enemies with a sam, you're gonna help your team. The special tenant missiles will also help your team as you can shoot them off from a cowardly position while your team dies face first into the enemy. The ink mine is the worst part of this kit, but it is like a no thing head empty sub weapon. You just hit the button and it goes to the ground. Someone might be stupid enough to chase you down and find themselves blown to smithereens from your tactically placed mine. And number three, this might be a spicy take for this list, but I'm putting the Hydra Splatling at number three. I'll just get this out of the way early. This thing is slow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slower than your grandma walking to her mailbox through a sea of quicksand. If you can get past that, this thing is so easy to use. It has a huge hitbox. If you hover that thing over the enemies, they're gonna get hit and they'll be hit hard. Best thing to do is just, just stay out of the enemy lines. If you can lay down some law from the back lines and support your team with the Booyah Bomb and Chicken, then you're gonna be golden. Just watch those nasty flankers. They like to sneak up on you and whack you upside the head with a big old paintbrush. Almost making the number one slot is the Tinta Tech Splatter Shot. This weapon is probably the most boring out of all the weapons on this list but it does the job. This class reminds me of the Call of Duty class. It has a regular shooter, a splat bomb, and a triple ink strike. It is so straightforward that it's hard not to understand how to use this kit. Once you've got the effective range figured out, you're gonna be causing problems quickly. You don't even need to be an eSports legend to use this thing. Just shoot, swim, shoot, swim. It's that easy. Before I say number one, here are the honorable mentions. Forge Splattershot Pro, very similar to the Tinnitech, this needs to be a little bit more accurate. Aerospray RG, god tier weapon for a noob, but some players might not really like the in your face play style. It can cause a lot of feeding. Neo splash o -matic. you need high accuracy, but it's got a great kit. Might be good for players who want to improve fast. Big swing roller express, very fun kit. You just have to learn the jump throw technique. GoTuber, sniper with an amazing kit, but you unlock it so late that some players might not use this very early. And last, but most certainly not least, at the number one slot, we've got the ink brush. If you wanna zoom around faster than your cat at 2 a.m., then this is the weapon for you. It lets you draw on the map and run extremely fast toward the enemy team. Once you've ambushed them, all you gotta do is mash the button faster than a speed runner. And before you know it, the enemy team will be making arrangements for their funeral. Stop, stop, he's already dead. This kit is pretty easy too. I like the killer well, cause you just hit the special button and you can just feel the enemy team starting to rage at you. It comes with a generic splat bomb, which is honestly pretty fun to just throw out. Dance for me, dance. If you want to see more Splatoon 3 content, check out this video right here, where I did a challenge where every time I won, I got to upgrade my loadout. Thank you so much for watching.